Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and welcome to my weekly reset, um, do over. But anyway, y'all, I had a, we all had a week. When I say we had a week, we had a week. It was so long, so gruesome, so tiresome. The trials and tribulations, the Lord have mercy. But I got a smile on my face because <laughs> after every storm, there's rainbows, right? But anywho, y'all know that y'all have been, y'all been encouraging, y'all been loving, y'all been kind, y'all been gentle, y'all been sweet. Oh man, y'all been so giving. And when I say give, I mean emotional support, um, kind words, uh, motivation, y'all been financially giving, like y'all heard my cry and y'all say, hey, you need this and you need that. And I dragged my feet a little bit. I'm like, Lord, they done bless me. Although financially I was struggling, like I'm like, okay, Lord, I got what I need. Let's get things in order. Speaking of, just a heads up, there will be a Bible giveaway either the end of this month or the beginning of April, because the Lord already took care of it. But anywho, um, hmm, where shall I begin? Let's start with the big bangs, because I, I want to, you know, I'm anxious right now, and I'm like, Lord, help me keep it together. But I have to tell y'all this, and I, I, I was going to kind of skip, you know, my weekly reset, because I already got videos coming out. But I said, you know what? I don't think they're going to complain if there's two videos dropped in the same day. And I try to space them out at least an hour or two. But anywho, Exhibit A finally got a chair that supports me. Got the head and neck support, got the cushion in the back support. So obviously I can lean up and do my videos. I can lean back if I need to. It is very comfy. Um, it, it was within price range. Um, I already told myself that um, 150 was the limit, but that would have been if the chair was so extravagant that I felt like I had to spend 150. But naturally, that was still like, uh, let's go back down this end. And even though I had kind of worked my way down to like <laughs> 125 ish, my husband was like, I'm gonna do better than that. So for just under 100 bucks, we got a really good chair here. And it's in a nice, cool gray. I wanted light. I didn't want it dark. And I didn't want to, you know, uh, we're not ready for a white chair. Like, I have a two-year-old and a five-year-old. And I can be messy myself, so no white chairs. But I was looking at them like, oh, I want one. I even was looking at one that was like, the heart, this part here was white. And then the inside was gray. But I didn't want to take a chance. But, y'all, I wish I could just... um. I might include a clip in the end of, or I'll take a picture and put it on my community feed because I'm probably going to forget to make a short video showing y'all what the whole chair looks like. But it is comfortable. It was affordable. And it, checklist, checklist, like weight capacity, uh, strength and durability, good reviews. I thank y'all. I thank my husband because I got a little frustrated. I said, can you help me? I want to make sure I buy the right thing. And y'all, I put this chair together myself too. So I'm like on a roll here. I put my desk together, put my chair together. You can do a lot of things with hands. Like you just got to trust the Lord. But anyway, I'm excited. I know y'all like, it's not that deep. But if y'all know the struggle of growing this channel and getting everything that I need and things breaking and tearing apart and not being able to afford my back situation, you will rejoice with me. <laughs> this feels mighty good. But this is not all. So also, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I don't have some rinky dink light on right now. Like I have like a professional photographer light. My husband also helped with that. Like he went online like, okay, we need lights. Cause I kept saying, uh, maybe it's time we get a camera. But even if you got a good camera and a good phone, it's the lighting. And I thank God that this lighting is so awesome. It's big. I kind of, you know, I'm looking at my wall now like, 
possibly have to do slight rear, I mean, not rearranging per se, but I had just kind of decor my wall. And now I'm like, I got to undecor my wall because, yeah. Or at least a, t a tad bit. Maybe, hmm, I might leave it. Um, the only thing is, I would just have to move like a couple of things this way. But other than that, it's for the greater good, right? Like, the only thing that I felt some way about is the fact, like I said, it's huge. And sometimes I do like to give you guys like a view view of my desk on Instagram. And now I probably won't be able to, at least this area. So then I already kind of mentally made up in my mind that, okay, this is filming. This is the filming desk because it's two separate desks that I had L-shaped side by side, up and down, round and round. I like, had all these changes going on until I got situated. But it's crazy because recently I felt led to put my desk back in front of the window. And I said in my mind, because I felt, what's the word? Constructed, I guess? Constricted? Like... When it was L-shaped, it was like, turn here, turn there. It wasn't working. For one, my chair didn't have rolls on it. And two, any chair that I put here was too big to kind of go like this. So then, like, my husband was like, well, we want to do podcasts and stuff together. I'm like, well, we just need two separate spaces. So, honestly, I didn't tell him because he was like, I'm fine, I'm fine, but I'm going to order him a chair too. So I'm going to order another one of these um, so we both can have a chair, the same kind of chair, and we can roll and we can turn and have this room looking like an office office so and um if i'm wise and if i save more just a little bit more i can afford to get that chair um because the only other thing that i was considering was getting uh, another computer because he wants to do podcasts and live stream together and if we're in two separate spaces the only thing that would make sense to me would be to get another cam and the computer and for 200 bucks you get both so here you have a computer here and i have a computer there so and i already seen a computer that i want like i said it's just a matter of god just saying here you go and like i said i'm saving because for one i'm not about to be the type of person to just be sounding like i'm begging for things because that was never my intention like i believe that god would make a way out of no way and god definitely has been a blessing because like i said these lights um they were like 70 and for 70 bucks you get three and y'all i prayed I, I waited and i'm like lord when i get funds like i tell y'all i'm always like lord what can what what do we need and half of the time i already know what we need it's just a matter of waiting on the lord right and the lights was definitely a big one like i spent so much money getting tripods and i was on my way to get another tripod and something was like hold on so i was like okay so then my husband, you know, we started talking to stuff. He's like, man, we need lights. We need better lights. And y'all, I thank God for this light. Oh my goodness. Thank you, light. Thank you, God. Thank you, you all. Thank you to my husband. God is good. So you're probably going to see this angle a lot, which I didn't even, wasn't even part of the plan, y'all. But the light has to be right here. Like, it's nowhere else would. I'm sorry. That's kind of a lie. I didn't mean to lie. But it can be in other places. It would just be kind of like in the way. And it would take a lot of manipulation because I could bring it out here. I could put it that way because it's three lights all together. And you know what? Towards the end, I am going to show y'all the setup because that's the only way for y'all to really get it. But um, he got the three light set because one is for down view. And I'm like, thank you for thinking of me. Because I'm like, I y'all know I'm hands on. I do things like that. And one of my biggest things was I want y'all to be able to see, see what I'm doing and see them for what they are, like nice, beautiful things, vibrant colors. I want y'all to see what I see. So we have the one light that hangs over the desk that won't move at all. Then I have two grande lights that can be moved and manipulated because I even was like, hmm, I want to put one more setup right here and I want to film this way. I always said, especially on my Cozy Face channel, I want to film from the chair, but lighting was just not, you know, on my desk, I can put my tripods, but on the chair, I can't put a tripod on the chair. So I think that's going to be the next thing is to set up one over here. And although it kind of makes the room look production-y, which I definitely did not want. Like I wanted somewhere where I can be cozy, but 
this is for the greater good. And as long as I can get here or get here and we get there, um, which like I said, technically over here is kind of like, eh, you know, <laughs> it's not really, I want to kind of be feeling welcoming over here, but it is definitely looking business like over here, but at least here in front of the window, I'm like, this is my quiet space, which got me, like I said, I truly feel like that was the Lord telling me, look, separate it again, because when I got frustrated here, I tend to turn this way and get frustrated too. But now that they're separated, it's like, okay, you can be frustrated with work, but still spend time with me. And that's what's been happening lately. So I had a really beautiful week of sitting in front of this window and spending time with God. And even like in real life, you know, they say separate business and pleasure. And in this case, it's separating um, YouTube ministry with quiet time and just have that separation. But um, I feel good. I'm set this light up. Can't wait for my husband to wake up and see that. Like I said, I'm going to set another one up over here in this corner. And it's going to be projecting this way. Um, the only thing that um, I was looking at was that I have like a little desk thing to here. That's probably going to have to move because if I put a light there, then by default, I have to put his boxes. They have to be somewhere else. So, because they can't just be in the walkway. And we can't block off the closet either. So, I'm just so excited. Look, I can just move in my chair. But anyway, I've been trying to stay afloat on my Bible readings. It, it got hard and it got frustrated. And I know y'all seen, if y'all follow my Cozy Faith channel, that just wasn't posting. Um, or I was posting like after midnight and they got, oh, I was mad. And I even was, and I was real with God. I said, God, why are you allowing me to be this, per, be such a procrastinator? Like it doesn't even make sense anymore. Like why, what? Posting after midnight kind of defeats the purpose. But the fact that people were still following along and reading along with me, I'm like, Lord, forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm just frustrated. Like it seems like to me, and I could be wrong. I don't want to be wrong, but it seems like to me that there's something about the 11 to one o'clock time that I'm always able to post in and it's so hard to post during the day. And at first I was really conflicting in my emotion, like, Lord, am I just, do I suck at this? Like, am, do I need to be whipped in discipline to get right? Or is this supposed to be my hours? And I remember there was even a season where on Facebook at one point, don't do it anymore where I was always up and God always laid something on my heart to say and people would inbox me and say thank you and I'm just like wow I mean even though in my mind I'm thinking like y'all need to be asleep but I wasn't asleep and I had no sleep in my eyes until God had me to say what I need to say and I encouraged and I thank God I thank God for using me in the wee hours of the morning so that's something that you might want to think about too like are you up between 11 or 12 and 3 o'clock in the morning. I know people say demon time and all this stuff. I don't agree. I feel like if you are up, you need to talk to God. You need to intercede for someone. Um, every hour is holy hour. Um, we have to be careful what we feed into and what we believe because God got a reason and purpose for everything, even when you can't sleep. If you can't sleep, get up and read. I guarantee you get sleepy then. If you still can't sleep, Pray for everybody. Intercede on behalf of your loved ones and your family, your spouse, and your children. And if you don't get sleepy then, and I don't know, maybe God wants you to pull an all-nighter because I've done that a couple times too. But yeah. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. <coughs> I knew it was coming. My cough is still here. Um, I went to the doctor and got tested for everything. COVID, flu, strep, ear infection. I ain't got nothing. I don't know what's going on. Um, she kind of narrowed down to um, uh, sinus and, and allergy and said that um, respiratory infections are prevailing. And although it's not showing that I have one, um, it could be very irritated and stirred because of the change of season and weather. And because there's a lot of germy things out there in the atmosphere as we speak, like she was like, everything is on the rise. And they're seeing like an increasingly rise of strep and... Uh, ear infection and COVID is kind of coming down a little bit. So, you know, there's always something. But y'all pray for me, pray for my husband, pray for our family, pray for the ministry. Um, 
Oh, I do have a little pamphlet here to show you what the entire trail looks like. It ain't cute, like, oh, uh, like girly, but it's durable and it's doable. And like I said, I got an adjustable seat here and I can lean back. I can drop down and come up if I want to. And I did go to five and below and I got me a little board, long overdue. I was looking for one of these and I couldn't find them. And now they're like in abundance in five and below. But if you know anything about like five and below, they kind of like the TikTok Instagram store, like everything that went viral gets sold there, including the false Stanley Cups and things like this and a lot of wall decor. Now, one thing I did see and I was like, I do kind of want it, but I'm going to try to have self-control. And But it was like only $5. They have like these um, shelves that look like flowers. And it's like, here I go again, embracing the flowers. But in a week or two, I'm going to be like, oh, I don't want no flowers. But anyway, they were cute. And they come in colors that would actually look good in here. But I'm going to hold off because I change my mind a lot. But anyway, I'm going to tackle this. I'm going to record some videos. And I just want to say I love y'all. Happy Bible reading to you all. I hope you all have an amazing week. Let's pray for one another. Um, let's be productive. Let's get some rest. Ah, rest is the word for next week. Rest. Don't be stubborn. Don't try to be Miss Superwoman. Rest. Rest your body and drink your water. Love you all. God bless. Take care. Bye.